Welcome to another CodeAssist training video. In this video I want to show you the WebVisa functionality and how to use it. First of all, just as an information, the WebVisa functionality is available on all our devices. So if you are able to connect to a network directly or via a USB Ethernet adapter, you can use WebVisa with all our existing devices. However, the functionality is only there in a demo version. It is limited to 30 minutes after the device has been powered. If you want to use it without this limitation, you need to purchase a Codesys WebVisa device from us. So if you know our article number, it has CDS in there. That needs to be uh, CWV. So be sure to purchase WebVisa, Codesys WebVisa devices if you want to use this feature for more than 30 minutes after device start. So to put WebVisa in a project, you just right click on the visualization manager, say add object and then WebVisa. You can give it a different name, but I will go with the default name. This opens the settings of the web visualization. The most interesting will be the start visualization. This means which visualization will be shown if you uh, connect to the device and, and watch the, the, the web visu initially. The name of the HTML file can also be given. I will leave that as uh, that as well. And since I only have one vis uh, visualization, there's not, nothing that can be done really other than this one. Um, so here you already have two possibilities. Um, you can choose the same visualization for what you see first on the target on the Opus device and what you see on the web visualization. Or you can also create A different visualization for the web visual. So if the the user that connects to the to the web visualization visualization should see something different than uh, um, on the what you see by default on the device, then you have to uh, create a different visualization here and uh, choose that as the start visualization. Now. Um, going from that, you again have two possibilities. Maybe you just want to mirror whatever is seen on the device. Then of course you go with the normal standard default uh, visualization that you also see on the on the Opus device. And from that, if you have any navigation to another page, whatever happens on the device will also happen on the on the web visual by default. But you can change the behavior of different buttons. This is a, a, a big safety uh, issue, of course. So if there are any functionalities on a crane, on an excavator, maybe you don't want the uh, the guy sitting in an office hundreds kilometers away uh, to be able to execute certain functions. So of course there is something that you can do about that. And I actually copy this here. So what you can do to, to take this button here, there is a property called deactivate inputs and you can put an expression here and if this expression is true there is no reaction um, for this input element. And the expression that we can use is visuelements.current client type does not equal 4. So what does it mean? I mean, the property current client type, it, it, it already points to what's going on. And why four? So we have three possible um, situations where your visualization can be seen. It can be seen on the PC, because by default, if you are connected, um, you will see whatever you see on the, on the Opus device, but, uh, uh, and if, you, if you select the visualization tab here. Um, 4 is the target, so that is our Opus device, and 8 is the web visual. So this means with an expression like this, 
This basically says if visualums.currentClient type does not equal 4, then this button will not function. It will be deactivated. And like this, you can of course also do different things. You can um, make buttons that only work with the web visualization. So you have absolute freedom here. Um, you can even go one step further and you can make objects invisible with a similar um, expression. So you could have two buttons on top of each other and um, depending on uh, how you connect, if you are uh, uh, looking at the Opus device or if you are connecting via web, uh, WebVisu, you can show a different button and the button does different things. Now the second thing that is important, um, normally quite often um, customers will uh, check this property, use current visu uh, variable, and they will switch the visualization with this current visu var uh, variable because it's very, very easy to do so and it's very convenient. However, this is a global setting and it will override all uh, things that you did with such expressions here and it will switch the visualization on all targets. So on the Opus device, on the PC and on the web visu. So if you have uh, different paths for the web visu and the normal um, visualization on the device, you must not use this variable. So this has to be deselected. Now, of course, you ask, how can I change my visualizations? And for this, there is another expression right here. Um, let me delete that. So instead of using the current visu variable, you have to use again visu elements and then G visu manager and then set main visu globally. And this takes two parameters. The first one again is the, um, the type of device. And the second one is a string, just like with the current visu variable of the visualization. So if you want to have um, a button that switches to another visualization for the target, you need to use an expression like that. If it should be a button that works or that, uh, uh, that navigates in the web visu, then of course you have to input an eight here and this will, um, change the visualization on, on the web visualization. So this is basically all that you need to know about the web visual functionality. As I said, it works 30 minutes on every device that you already have that uh, uh, runs Codices. So just try it out. If you have any questions, contact us. And as always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.